Hello, this is Stefan Kaplan Williams. Thought this Sunday afternoon I'd spend a little time talking about movies. How movies are like dreams. Movies are the collective dreams of a culture and humanity at that time. This is 2008 and I've been seeing recent movies. What is a movie then but a dream? And what is a dream but a reflection of fundamental life dynamics and dynamics in our psyche? What are dynamics but balances of energy in opposites and not always in balance? We take the wedding planner as our movie. In it, the woman is, um, she's a planner. She plans elaborate, expensive weddings for people and she's very good at it and you see her with the technology in her ear and and uh, you know with her other people coordinating everything and she has an emotional kind of speech when uh, when uh, the the wife coming or the wife to be is having second doubts and she reassures her and and it's very uh, well played by Jennifer Lopez. And, but what is a movie then? A movie is a story that illustrates a life theme. A life theme then, the characters play to the life theme if it's a well done movie. In our dreams also, our night dreams, we dream our life themes. How are we doing in the dream? This morning I had a dream of dealing with uh, being rejected for whom I am and how I deal with that and, and how I need to see, see that part of life is, is the tendency to be rejected by others that don't understand us or don't like us. In other words, what I got from the dream was that I didn't, I don't necessarily fit automatically in other people's systems. What is a system? A system is a, is a basically functioning, harmonious collection of energy sources and structures that all are directed in a gi given direction to solve a problem or actualize a potential. So, so we all need to make conscious our system. So uh, this dream echoed back to when I entered college and uh, I opposed freshman initiations there and the student leaders and faculty came down on me. I was breaking tradition. I, with my values and intelligence and creativity, and even neurosis resistance to reality did not fit their system. And that's what college initiations are. College is a system of learning based as much on interactions between people that are cooperative as on a learning basic knowledge about how to live life or advanced knowledge. So one of the life issues for any of us is do we fit the system well in a wedding a wedding is are you really compatible why was the couple getting married in the wedding planner well they known each other since high school and they were good friends but good friends don't make good enemies or do they so in a wedding in a passionate love love a relationship you've got to to be extremely compatible have similar life values yes you can be opposites in all sorts of ways and that may may cause a a contrast and a tendency to attract each other from opposites because the fundamental energy is to attract opposites and unite the opposites in their differences into similarities. So in the wedding planner, then they, these two are marrying even though they're not compatible. There are certain things they don't like about each other which are 
fundamental personality differences. And so like, oh, I want a small wedding instead of a big wedding. Well, they weren't really saying their truths. And here's the wedding planner. She hasn't had a relationship in two years. And so she's spending a lot of time and she's good at it in helping other people marry. They come to her and she plans the whole elaborate wedding and they have money to have a good wedding. But what about her? What does she do when she gets home alone? Well, she has a TV dinner and switches on the TV. She's not fulfilled. However, she breaks a rule, not intentionally, but she's falling in love with uh, the groom, the guy who's going to get married, and, and he's falling in love with her. So this is a life theme. Then uh, do you marry the person or relate to them, you know, in a commitment of permanence, because you guys are really compatible as well as attracted to each other in contemporary terms. Or do you marry someone out of convenience, what the uh, parents want or what is conventional or, you know, you're not even sure why you marry. Oh, it's time to get married. So it's a damn good life theme and in the wedding planner, it's so well done, it's so, well done to stick to this theme and to go into the positives and negatives and then to have a resolution to the problem. To whom do you marry and what is a good marriage? Huh? A marriage of compatibilities that will last. So the same way in the dream, why am I dealing with the people not understanding me because I don't fit into their system and how do I do things to to help them understand me and fit into the system or do I simply leave that situation and find a more compatible group and and system organization of creativity and personal fulfillment that I can exist and prosper in, in life. This is Strephon Kaplan Williams, DreamWorks psychologist, philosopher, talking about fundamentals of life issues and how to deal with them. See us at strephonsays.com or dreamworkcircle.com and you see some of the aphorisms that we use in relating to life. Bye for now.